welcome to the channel. Today I would like to discuss uh, Nodding and SKX in general and these two bad boys here. First of all, let's uh, the normal SKX 007, 009, I was late to the game. Um, many years has passed, people were so happy about the SKXs and I hadn't tried it. So I was thinking, what should I do? Um, should I take a regular one like this, this 007 or 009? I said, no, I'd better do something else and take a modded version. So the first version I bought was this one. Uh, it was already pre-modded by a guy in the Philippines. He did a wonderful job. Um, so clearly this is an SKX and you can see the bezel here is like this acrylic thing. Um, and the dial is like heavy camouflage so um, I really fell for this and saying if my first SKX is going to be a modded one why not make it something like this so I really liked it um, so that way I could try out the size and everything because it's a little bit big I thought uh, but like everyone else I found out it's it works perfectly on my wrist so I fell in love with SKX, just like the rest of you. Uh, so I'm just late to the party. Yeah, you got there before me. But I wanted to do the modding, um, the modding part of it. Um, I, I wanted a little something a little bit different. And I think this is a great example of, you know, really camouflage thing. Um, so that is one thing. What I find is that you're on a journey just like I am you're on a journey because you're buying watches you have several of them and in watch number one there's something you like about it but there's a few nickels and moans that you would like to have changed and then you got watch number two and you also like that one a lot but there's a few other nickels and moans not the same as the watch number one but on number two there's something else that you really don't like and so on watch number one, for example, it could be uh, the height of the watch. Uh, in watch number two, what you don't like could be the hands. In watch number three, it could be, and you get the point, you're on a journey to become a designer. you got uh, things you like, you got things you don't like. Uh, and that's just like the rest of us. Uh, but since you own several watches and become more or less a connoisseur now, you, the, the next logical step would be to mod your own watch, to create your own watch. Of course, the first thing starts out by, for example, an SKX like this with bracelet. I'm not a bracelet guy. I, I know I'm in the minority. Most of you like bracelets, uh, metal bracelets. I'm into uh, leather uh, and or NATO. Uh, but that's the first easy mod, changing out the uh, the, the bracelet um, so that's the first easy mod but you know that's that doesn't cut it soon you would like to do something else so um, in that that's why I, I think the logical thing is to do modding at some point in the stage you, you would like to do your own modding uh, here I bought this pre modded from a guy in the Philippines and because I really like it uh, but you know even on this mod Maybe there's a few things I would have done differently. For example, let's just take an example, the second hand here. It's a black second hand. If it was me, I would probably do it in white. Or in... Those are minor things, but you know, that's the whole point of modding. You've got something you like, and you've got a few things you don't like. So the, the logical step is to do your own mod. And I've just recently done that. So I'll show you my new mod here. So this is the new mod um, and this is, um, I have to give a shout out, I, I'm not proficient in doing this so I, I had a, a friend of mine doing this, he's in the UK, he's called Neil, um, he's a great guy, has been doing, you know, uh, following my advice for, on all of this so I'm really indebted to him, he's done a great job here. So what I've done is taking I wanted a, the, the traditional SKX case, 
But then I really, I really like this um, this Jagdmaster um bezel here. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. Um, but this bezel, I really like. It's uh, there's something satisfying about these raised numerals. So that's something I wanted to incorporate. And then I wanted a Flieger style, you know, pilot's watch. Um, so. And of course, I wanted to, to have it as, a, as an original SKX, so I took that dial here uh, from another SKX, uh, Seiko 5, um, sorry, a Seiko 5 dial. So that makes it like a Flieger style. And then I said, I want to complete that with like a bumper, bumper jacket uh, leather. So just like a regular, you know, RAF NATO, uh, bomber jacket uh, leather you know it's it oozes like this kind of um, military thing um, and then the hands I I wanted uh, you know some sword hands like this so instead of you know hands like this with an arrow and so on I wanted something um, you know like Sahara like uh, subdued and the, the dial is that um, off-white uh, beige color, so I wanted white hands and the white seconds, and that also matches the uh, the day date aperture here. So you can see in this way, uh, by doing a mod, you can sort of live out your dreams, and sometimes you find it works, and sometimes you find, ah, oh, God, I. I thought that was great, but it didn't really look great at all. And you find out it's much harder than you think. In this case, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this. It, there is something like a, an RAF bomber on on this, and um, a real pilot watch. Uh, but you could have chosen another dial instead of the Seiko Five. I don't mind; it's a Seiko Five. I really like this dial. Um, but you know, I, I can already see myself doing another one with a with a you know Pepsi dial, Pepsi bezel here, and a blue dial. Now, you, there's endless possibilities. In the end, it's just a logical procession from buying a watch you like to slightly modding it to uh, you know going the full way and and you know installing a. A, an AR coated uh, sapphire, double domed uh, sapphire here. You know, it's it gives a totally different perspective on a watch when you've designed it yourself. And in the end, you'd never end up with what you truly wanted, but uh, you you get so much kick out of it, and it's it's a fun process. So. If you're like me, you have several watches and you are on the way, by having several watches, you're on the way to being a designer yourself because you got things you like and you got things you don't like and and why not make something out of it by yourself? And the X, SKX is a perfect uh, tool for doing this because you can do all kinds of things here. Uh, it's a great fun to have a community that really specializes in doing all of these things. I can't do them myself. I'm not. You know, I haven't opened a watch, so I, I don't know how where to go about it. Um, but my friend Neil has got a great way about it. He's done a superb job. Um, and you see, also the the coinage special here is different, and it's just it's just a great thing. So my point today is just why not jump into it? It's it's a fun thing. Uh, since we're into watches, uh, we, we like design, you can design your own. And uh, there's, there's no limit to what you can dream up, you know. Uh, so, at the end, I just wanted to uh, give a little wristwatch uh, check here. I got, this is an SKX uh, 033. Um, I think this is, this is the hidden jewel of uh, Seiko's. I didn't know these existed until this year. Um, 40 millimeters, even smaller than the SKX. Uh, the crown at three, but you know, look at those applied markers there. It's, I mean, that's just joy. And you know, with the leather strap like this, on this, it's just, this has been my prime watch here for the last few months here. So, 
there's no limit to what you can do and so I just that's uh, my just my um, advice to go out and uh, try to build something yourself so take care and thanks for watching and see you again later bye